Determining equations in slope-intercept form for parallel versus perpendicular lines. To review, slopes of parallel lines, remember, are going to be the same. Slopes of perpendicular lines, so lines that are at right angles, are going to have negative reciprocal slopes. So the signs will be opposite and the numbers will be uh, reciprocals. So let's just review that given these equations. What is the slope of the line perpendicular to y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 9? If this is the slope right here, then if it's perpendicular, we're just going to take the negative reciprocal. So we want to say that it's the perpendicular slope and is now just 5 over 2. Example 2, what is the slope of the line parallel to y equals 7x minus 10? So if it's parallel, the slope that is parallel, we use these parallel line symbols, is the same slope, so it's 7. It's important you use these symbols. You don't want to just say m equals 7 referring to this line. The parallel line has the same slope as well. Number three, what is the slope of the line parallel to this? Well, for us to find the slope, it needs to be into y equals mx plus b form. So you need to convert to y equals mx plus b form first. So to do that, we're going to move 2x to the other side. So we're going to get 5y equals um, negative 2x plus 10. Divide off the 5. Y is equal to negative 2 fifths x. 10 divided by 5 is plus 2. So if it's parallel, this slope is 2 fifths. The parallel line would have the same slope. So it would also be negative 2 fifths, right? So maybe we'll make that stand out. Same slope. Number four, what is the slope of the line perpendicular now to 3x minus 8y minus 5? Again, you have to convert it to y equals mx plus b form first. You're going to move this. You're going to isolate y. So you get negative 8y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. Divide off the negative 8. y is equal to 3 8 x minus 5 over 8. So my slope of this line is 3 8 So the slope of a line perpendicular is negative 8 over 3.